first time parent, what would you consider to be one of the most intimidating things about bringing home a new baby? How about one of the things that they would look forward to the least? Well, my answer can best be summed up in this joke. Uh, politicians and diapers have one thing in common. They should both be changed regularly and for the same reason. <laughs> I'm the oldest of 11 children and the youngest is a year old. I've been married for two years. My, I have a one year old and I'm pregnant with my second. So you could definitely say I've had my share of diaper changing experience and uh, I would definitely call myself a diaper changing expert. Everyone will have to change a diaper at some point in their life, uh, whether it's their own child, whether it's their niece or nephew, a friend's baby during babysitting, you will have to change one diaper in your life, uh, I guarantee it. And uh, my tips today I hope will help you approach that with more confidence instead of trepidation in the future. So there are three main areas I wanna talk about today. Um, some basic helpful tips um, that everybody should know, including especially including new parents, um, as well as the differences between changing a girl's diaper versus a boy's diaper. So starting with the basic tips, um, the most important thing to do is to distract the child while you're changing them, because they'll reach down, pull the diaper out from under you, stick their hands in it. Uh, they're gonna be focused on what you're focused on. So give them a little toy to hold, um, or talk to them, or sing to them, interact with them, keep their mind off of what you're doing. Um, another very good thing to do is to take the clean diaper and stick it underneath the already diapered bottom before you change the diaper. And then you can change the diaper, wipe their bottom, take the dirty one out, and quickly place the clean one over before they decide that they have to pee more. Or, uh, you know, you get it all over the pad and, you know, make a mess. And it also helps make the diaper change a lot faster. That brings me to my third helpful tip, which is using a changing mat or a pad. Because just when you think they don't have one ounce of pee left, they do, and they'll show it to you. And you'll end up having to wash your comforter or uh, clean the carpet wherever you change them. So very good idea to always use a changing pad or a mat. Now, most kids have blowouts. So if your kid has a blowout, the poop comes out of the diaper, uh, the best thing that I've found to do is to take an old towel or a dirty towel um, used just for this occasion and lay it on the floor or whatever surface you change them on and remove their clothing and change them. That way you don't have to worry about if poop gets on the surface you're changing them on because you can take the towel and throw it in the wash. Makes for a very easy cleanup. Now for the specifics in changing a girl, the most important thing to remember is to wipe front to back and to wipe meticulously. Make sure you get all of it off because the way a girl's anatomy is you can get bacteria up inside of them and cause an infection and a fever, just a lot of pain for the child. So be very careful to watch for that when you're wiping a baby girl. Now when it comes to changing a baby boy, the most important thing is to watch out for their little fire hose because they will get you from a distance. So when you wipe their private area, make sure to either drop a wipe on top of their private area or a washcloth, something to keep them covered while you wipe the rest of their bottom. Um, and then using the diaper changing technique that I showed you earlier, you can uh, keep from additional pee being sprayed. Um, so while this may seem like a lot of information, you'd be surprised at how much you've remembered from the uh, basic tips and the differences between changing a girl's diaper and a boy's diaper and how thankful you will be in the future that you've learned all of this so that you can face your first diaper changing dilemma with confidence. And just as these things were passed down to me by my very seasoned parents and gained much experience through uh, all of the times I've changed diapers, I encourage you to pass these on to single, uh, single friends who will change a diaper and new parents. I'd like to finish this with a quote from Marshall McLuhan, um, diaper spelled backwards is repaid. Think about it. Thank you.